DIY Jeff here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make custom foam inserts for your toolbox drawers that will hold your tools in place and also organize them in a really organized fashion. You'll also be able to tell when a tool is missing and quickly identify what tool that is, all at a fraction of the cost of retail color-coded drawer liners. First, let's head down to the local craft store to pick up some foam mats. The best deal I could find was on these 12 by 18 inch mats. They come in about 20 colors, so you can take your pick. This is the color you'll see when a tool is removed from your box. They're two millimeters thick. Stay away from these adhesive back pads. They are a big no-no. One option is to get a multi-pack of nine by 12 inch pads. There's 40 in this one for $8.99 if you don't care about the colors, but I personally like picking my colors and having a larger pad to work with. Unfortunately for the thicker pad that we need that we'll be cutting to inlay our tools, I could only find it in a 9 by 12 inch. The thickness is important so that the cutout surrounding the tool holds it in place. While not the ideal size, I can make it work. Now I need to pick the colors I want. So many colors to choose from. Hmm. Well, I know what I don't want. I don't want white, black, or any other dark colors. When I remove a tool, I want to be able to clearly see where it was. Here's a list of everything you need for the project. Some colored foam pads for the backing. You can use different colors for different tools or just use one color, your choice. Thick black foam pads that your tools will sit in. Needs to be at least a quarter inch thick so that your tools won't wobble around in the drawer. An X-Acto knife or a box knife. A marker, preferably silver or gray, so it will show up on the black pad. This is used for tracing your tools. A tape measure, and lastly, a hot glue gun for gluing the colored pads to the black pads. All right, let's get started. We need to know the dimensions of the drawer. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it does need to be pretty close. We'll start by measuring and marking the bottom pad first. Before you start cutting, put a piece of cardboard under the mat. To make sure it fits, put it in the drawer for a test. We'll cut the top layer by putting two of the thick mats together and placing the yellow pad on top as a template.
Now set your tools on the black mat where you want them to stay permanently and then you'll trace them with the marker. In order to grab the tools easier when they're in the toolbox, I'll cut out a small grab hole about the width of my finger. How I'll do that is I'll measure the center and make a mark an eighth of an inch on either side of center. I'll cut on the outside of those lines, which will give me closer to three eighths to one half inch grab hole. Taking your blade of choice, cut on the outside of the grab hole lines and on the inside of the outline of the tools. That way the tools will sit in snug since the foam has some give to it. For a cleaner end product, flip the tools over to simulate cutting the bottom side of the foam. That way the marker is on the bottom side of the pad and won't be seen. I forgot to do that and realized it too late, but as you'll see in a minute, it's really not even noticeable if you forget.
turn the foam over and using your hot glue gun, run a bead of glue around all the edges. Then put some in the open black spaces and then in between each wrench space. You'll need to do it quickly or the glue will harden before you press it onto the yellow mat. Now let's take the finished product over to the toolbox and test it out. Wow, at first glance this looks good, but the real test will be to put the tools in it. This really does look better than I thought it would. If you're OCD like me, you might take it a step farther. All right, here it is, the final product. The drawer is labeled and each tool location is labeled. So not only will it be easy to see the shape of a missing tool, but the label identifies its size. Check out how much it would cost to buy the foam pre-assembled from Amazon. As a comparison, we made our insert for $3. I don't know about you, but that's money in my pocket. Hopefully you found this video helpful as you're organizing your tool chest drawers. I know it was pretty beneficial for me. I'm gonna get started here working on the rest of my drawers. In the meantime, hopefully you can get started on yours. If you like this video, click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you'll get notified every time I upload a new video.